Check, check, hey. Check, check, check. Looking for a trap on the 10K chart, potential trap. Top of the trading range on the 2K chart. Potential trap on the 10K chart, which I like a lot. If this trap does trigger, I'd be interested on the 10K chart. The five minute is constantly trading underneath the 20 MA though. This is about to make a point. Still hasn't made a point. Still hasn't made a point on the 10K chart. Ooh. Point made on the 10K chart. It's too late to pull back on the 10K chart. 10K chart's just so clean. No traps on 10K. No traps in the entire session on 10K chart. That means if I took this, took uh, starting from here, one, two, three, four, five, six second entries on the 10K chart, all would have been nice for a scalp. We're in this trading range at the moment on the 2K chart. Like I said, when we came down here, I thought we were gonna come back to the top of the trading range, which is exactly what we did. Also have a channel now forming. Looks something like this. Check, check. No audio, still no audio. It's okay. It doesn't matter how many people are on this stream. Let's go, baby. Let's go. We're taking the best setups possible. That's all we care about. Getting choppy now, but I think this, this trading range to me, I feel very confident in this trading range right now. We had one, two, three hits, four hits. Good, good, good. Thanks, Pandas, for confirming that. Yeah, while the stream got jacked up, I uh, turned off all the overlays, overlay settings on the NVIDIA. Hopefully that'll fix it, but that was, you know, gonna run to a few kinks as I work with this new system here. Killian asks, are you looking at 10K tick or volume chart? I'm looking at tick charts. I was, I did play around with volume charts. Uh, for those who do not know, the difference between tick charts and volume charts is that uh, tick charts, they actually track, um, every tick is one transaction. And so, you know, if you if you like, even have the trader and you look at the flow um, and the market, the orders, you know, every contract can have like 20 contracts, one contract can have 100 contracts. It doesn't matter, it just tracks every transaction. Whereas volume chart actually tracks the amount of contracts being traded. And so um, the five minute is looking bearish still, but this one single bar, like I do not imagine us getting far out of the range of this one single bar. Like I, I can imagine us being in this bar for maybe one or two days within the range of that one bar on the five minute. I really wouldn't be surprised. We are going lower though, but I would not. I would not feel super confident on these breakdowns or breakouts. I still think this trading range is in play. 
in my opinion. So I did play around with volume charts, but I, again, come back to the tick charts because most of my viewers, they, they read tick charts. And, um, and honestly, I found that the tick charts are a little cleaner than volume charts. I don't know what it is. I, I just don't know what it is. I, I just found that they're a little cleaner. I wish I could explain it to you because in my mind, I, I would want to trade volume, actual volume, not ticks, because the ticks are arbitrary in terms of amount of contracts being traded. Uh, but um, yeah, so in my mind, it makes more sense to do volume charts. But uh, yeah, just from my experience, I just, I like the tick charts more. It just, the two legged pullbacks were cleaner in my opinion, at, at least at the time that I was uh, testing out the volume charts. But uh, who knows, maybe if I didn't give it a long enough uh, chance, maybe I'll, maybe I'll change it to the volume charts sooner or later. Yeah, the five minute right now, five minutes clean, right? If you look at all of this action here, no traps until the last trap was here yesterday at three. But no traps for this entire session so far on the five minute as well. But looking at the five minute, this looks, you know, it doesn't look... It doesn't look clear in any sense. Like it doesn't look, like it looks very choppy in my opinion in the five minute. I'm thinking, yeah, probably test the bottom of this range. I wouldn't be surprised, but I don't think we're gonna break below it. That's just my opinion. I really don't think we can break below this range on a 10K chart. Like I'm almost willing, almost willing to put a limit order right here on this bottom of this range. I'm will, almost willing to do that, thinking that this range is, the reason why I think so strongly that we're in a range instead of a downtrend, even though we are like downtrending right now, is because of the price action. When I'm reading this, and I look to the left of the charts, I just, I don't see conviction, like huge bear bar, no follow through. Right, that to me, just automatically my mind just goes to, this is probably trading range. And so now we're coming back to the bottom of this, thinking, well, we're probably still in this trading range, still in this bar here, in my opinion, within the range of this one gigantic 30 point bar. But I'm not sure if I'm willing to fade this breakout yet, or this reversal, if it does like reverse right here. Let me extend this. Actually, let me look at the 10K chart. 10K chart is at the 4099. 4099. Whoa, 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 what's wrong with my charts here? There we go. 40, 99, 50. Sorry about that. A little confused. I want the same um, line here from the 10K chart, my 2K chart. I wanted to hit. I wanted to hit this before going uh, long. Like if I put a limit order right on this line, I bet you I can scalp a point. Kellyanne says, it would be great to modify the super signal to work on the minute charts if you could. The super signal does work on the minute charts. Super signal works on every chart, right? Super signal here, super signal here. I'm not sure what you mean by uh, getting the super simple to work. It does work on the five, on the minute charts, Kelly. If you'd like to clarify what you mean, uh, let me know. Alan Brackett says, I came in late and he's up 1K. I must be bad luck. Whatever, <laughs> whenever I watch, he loses. Yeah, Jason is right. Uh, that 1K is not during stream. Hit a 10 point run or two contracts. Or 10 point uh, swing. I did say in the Discord that the market is moving last night. I did write in there. 
um, because I saw the price. Actually, I saw how it was moving on the two-legged pullback uh, Discord server. All right, so we didn't even hit the bottom of the range. We got very close. We were one point away, and now we're starting to show signs of reversal. I wouldn't mind trading some sort of reversal like this, two-legged pullback. I've been burned so many times. You want that lower, that <laughs> a lower low. Let's go for the lower low this time because I've been burned so many times. I'm not waiting for the lower low setup. Higher low setup. Also, this could be a trap as well. So we got multiple places of entering here. So if you miss this entry, you can have this trap entry possibility. So these are all the things that we look for here. Break of trend, which just happened with this bar. I would like it to be convincingly over the 20 MA if possible. And then come back, make a new low. And this is when we start to look for reversals. Peter says, purchase your indicator. Thanks for purchasing. Hope it's helpful. <sighs> yes, Discord approval. Let me see. Hey, if you send, if you send, if you uh, DM me, there should be uh, instructions on how to DM me on what my uh, username is on the Discord. But direct message me your um, confirmation number. And then uh, I'll put you in the, the server. Didn't quite hit where I wanted to hit. I wanted to hit the bottom of the trading range. But you see this like super bearishness. Like it looks so bearish, but I think you gotta look to the left of the charts and realize we're just like in this really big trading range at the moment. All right, we are breaking clearly above the 20 MA. Mrs. Panda is up, grinding some coffee. I can't wait. Nothing like a fresh cup of coffee. Unfortunately, we're not even getting our reversal set up because this is reversing off on a dime right here. When it looks like this, you kind of look for just a trap setup, straight up. Like, okay, let me get to the trap setup because of how strong this breakout is right now. This bounce off the bottom of the train range. Like I said, it didn't even get to my the point where I wanted to and it started to reverse. Even though this looked very bearish. It looked very bearish, but you got you got to understand the market cycle that we are in. Trading range market cycle. Maybe I should do this with every stream, just like end the stream in the middle of it and then restart it and then kind of have like the true pandas come back. <sighs> Otherwise you get a lot of trolls. Chris Zolko says, looks like a three push wedge bottom on the five minute. Five minute says, he thinks this is a wedge here, which depending on how you make your wedge, the wedge, the thing about wedges are a little subjective. But um, this is a wedge if you draw it like this. Let's get that reversal, pandas. Let's get that reversal here. Um, up, yeah, I'm up. I'm like a little over 9,000 right now. I really want that 10k. I want that doubling. Also, I'm thinking of doing a 5k special. Like, if the, if at the rate that I'm going, I should get 5,000 subscribers sometime soon. I do want to have a special with the 5,000 subscribers. I might do like a members only stream and I don't know, stream all day or something. I don't know. 
I'm trying to think of what to do with the 5,000 uh, subscriber goal. Okay, we're not even getting our two-legged pullback right now, but we might get our a new low here. I would like a two-legged pullback though to make that new low. That'd be nice. Okay, all my lines are getting messed up. Getting rid of this. Let's get a two-legged pullback here. Broke above, created a gap between the low and the 20 MA, making us think that this could be a reversal here. All right, this is pretty strong. This is like evidence that hey, there are bulls here. And so now when we come back down, the bulls want to come back in on a double bottom. Currently double bottom being made. Uh, I'm thinking it's going to try to hit the bottom of the trading range on the 10K chart, which is this horizontal line right here. I, I marked it here on our chart, on the 2K chart. It looks like it wants to hit it. I wouldn't mind if it hits it. In fact, I would like it if it hits it. They act as magnets. These these support resistance levels typically act as magnets. Okay, the ten k chart bottom trade range hit. And if I put a uh, limit order here, a one to four limit order. Okay, already a scalped out. Like I said, if I just put a limit order right there, if I just had put a limit order, I bet you I could have scalped that. I just did. I would have. But that's not the strategy we're trading here, pandas. I would have been a scalp out right there pretty easily. We are making our new low. So we have breaker trend. On a trading range day. Remember that. We're on a trading range day. Broke. Broke the trend, made a new low. It wasn't a two-legged pullback new low though, which is unfortunate, which would be nice if it was a two-legged pullback to a new low. And now we're waiting for a higher low setup somewhere, if we can get it. Do you see this horizontal line? This horizontal line is on the 10K chart, the bottom of the trading range, of trading range indicator. This horizontal line is holding up at the moment. Breaking now, below. Let's not get sloppy here. Let's track all our channels here. Looking for some sort of higher low setup here. We had break of trend, as you can see. Made a new low. I would like a two legged pullback, but not sure if we're gonna get it. Maybe just a higher low setup. The higher low can still be a two legged pullback actually, because this leg is this swing is so large, right? This could be like in itself a two legged pullback, like this, which is what I'm interested in if we can get it. But that's on the premise that I think we're in a trading range day today because of what I think is happening here. Like this price action does not uh, indicate to me that we are in a strong downtrend. This price action tells me because how choppy we are, I think we are in a trading range still. If we can get this break below. Now we do have a higher low setup here. I'm going to take this. Panda, do not copy my trades. Do not copy my trades. Gotta catch it perfectly though. Have to catch this perfectly because I'm on a, I'm on a limit order here. Woo! -hoo 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 -hoo. 
All right, I'm in. Keep my one to four here. It went up like crazy at the very end. I really think we are bouncing off here. Oh, pandas, every time. Am I gonna have another red day today? Please, let one of these major trend reversals work out. I really think we're in the bottom of the training range. I really do think so. I could be wrong. This could just make a two legged pullback Pikachu here. And if I get hit, so be it. I'm okay with my decision here. I saw a good setup. But man, every time I stream, I'm just like, ah, always red days on the streams. It's unfortunate. Oh, we have hope. We do have hope here. I'm going to go on this trap as well. I'm going to double up my position on this trap if this trap triggers. If this trap triggers, I'm doubling up my position here. Need to trigger first. Alright, doubling up my position here. Alright, let's go. This could be a big, 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 big pain, but let's see here. Could be a big pain, but let's go, baby. Let's get it. Had the higher low and trap set up. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe Mrs. Panda's the one that actually actually trades. But let's go, baby. Finally, finally in the green, guys. Finally. But I had both my setups. I had the higher low setup plus the trap setup as well. Both of them came and I doubled my position. But it, it was just so choppy. I just, this is like unfortunate. Like, I wish it was much clearer than this. But I really do think we're in trading range still. I mean, I do think so. I'm thinking like if I miss something, because that was just like too close for comfort for me. Too close for comfort. It does scalp out though, on that trap. The only thing that I could be wrong is if my premise is wrong, then this is the reason why it didn't work out as well as I wanted it to have. If my premise is wrong, as in like we're just actually in a really strong downtrend day today, then so be it. But um, then it's just because my premise was wrong. But the good thing about that is once you realize your premise is wrong, you can switch your trading style and then hopefully make up any losses that you made because you had a you know wrong premise. Hopefully you can switch to the right premise and you gotta be adaptable quick enough to do that. We made a new low today. We made actually a new low. We broke the bottom of this 30 bar. And we're just dripping down, drooping down here. I'll be scared now to maybe think that we might be in a downtrend day today, actually. But man, I have a strong feeling we're in a trading range day today because like this price action here, like when you think of like strong trend days, you don't see like this many alternating bars you don't see swings this big going both ways when you see like a strong trend day you usually see a huge spike and it just keeps going up and forever and you're just like you know trying to find a place to get in
Ah, oh, Daniel Eyes. That hurts, man. That hurts. I, I, I know that you got to be really quick. Um, unless you, like, set up your runner to automatically go plus one break even. Uh, you got to be quick. You have to be vigilant. That's why I kind of don't like runners either because you got to do that. Like, sometimes, like, I just like to scalp out. Like, when I was trading five contracts, I just like scalping out. Because I didn't want to manage the runner. I didn't want to move my runner. I didn't want to have that chance. And I didn't want to, like, have to, you know, maintain the runner the entire time. And so, um, that's why I kind of like the 250, uh, or the five contracts. Because you just make 250, you're out, and you're done. And also, you know, there are some times where, like, if you, if you do the math, you got to think of the math. Like, um, the risk in the runner is basically you don't make that... You don't make those three ticks. You don't make that one point that you could have. Those three extra ticks. Um, I say three ticks because you have one tick uh, plus break even. So you do salvage that one tick for the commissions. But basically, you're talking about, you know, if you think about runners, how often do you get like a 10 point runner? I'll say it's very rare, actually. Maybe you'll get, in terms of a runner, uh, you know, there are 10 point swings, but in terms of runners, you might, it might happen, I don't know, like it might happen 10% of the time, you know, which is pretty much if you just took that full scalp, uh, you would have just gotten out, you know, with the scalp. And so. So yeah, I mean, there's, there's, you gotta consider the runner. It's not just like, hey, I'm just gonna do it. You, you have to actually think about it and figure if it, whatever fits your plan the best. And so, when I, when I like, the, when I was doing the fun contracts, I, I wasn't doing runners because I just liked just thinking about getting two scalps a day and make 500. That was just my, you know, thinking. Instead of having to sit there and manage a runner, it's getting choppy now. Like this to me is not indicative of a strong trend. Like, when you see this, like, descending wedge like this as well, it's just, at the bottom of a trading range, it's just, I could be completely wrong. This could just break down, of course, like, nothing is 100% trading. But when I look at the character of the market today, I do not see strong trend. At least, like, I see strong swings, big swings, nice swings, but I don't see a strong trend day today. Like I said, I could be completely wrong, but... When you read this price action, what do you see? Do you see a lot of alternating bars? You see um, big swings. You see swings going up. You see bulls and bears making money along this entire uh, trading day today so far. And yeah, I mean, that's in my mind because I see that. I don't, to me, I don't think this is like indicative of a very strong trend day. With that being said, we are at the lows now, so possibly we can come back up to the top of this trading range. We can actually come back to the top, top of the trading range day still today, in my opinion. We can come back up here. We can actually even come up to yesterday's close still. And you might think it's very like unlikely, but actually if we come back into this trading range, it's not as unlikely as you think. Currently, this is not an H4. You need to see a four with a magenta box to know to see an H4. But we're vibing right now. We're vibing. We're chilling. Not trying to go long. You need like ample evidence for going on uptrend. One thing is though, is that this major trend reversal didn't actually reverse the market, which made me makes me wonder: Are we in a downtrend? Like when the major trend reversal actually doesn't reverse the market, it's basically a failed major trend reversal. Bottom of a trading range. You're thinking maybe possibly it is a trend day. I didn't consider that when the major trend reversal fails because this is a major trend reversal setup. You're really thinking possible huge reversal when this this trend line breaks. 
if we come back to the top of this trend line and come above it, then we can probably really consider maybe going long again. I'm not sure. That was really scary. I was risking a lot there as well. Double my position with the trap. Pikachu failed. I had my reasons why I wanted to go long there. Seeing this gap here, seeing strong bull bar, seeing the presence of bulls here. Coming back down, made a new low. And then a higher low setup here. Currently these are all failed. This is an H4. This is an H4 setup here, the next reversal. Don't want to take this H4 though. Mmm. Oh, I kind of like this H4. Bottom of the trading, bottom of the channel here. Overextended now. H4 setup. Uh, let's try, let's try. I'm in this H4 here. I'm gonna keep my one, whoa, 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 I'm gonna keep my one to four. One, two, three, four. Bottom of the channel here. <laughs> Waiting for his H4. I could possibly try and go on H4 on a strong downtrend now, but. To me, I'm not convinced yet. I'm still not convinced it's a strong downturn. This H4 could burn me. Let's see here. Okay, let's go, baby. Let's go, let's go. Yo, and my runner just got hit. Hey, this is one of those streams. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it today. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. You know what? I was being so dumb. <laughs> I was so focused on putting that stupid meme, the stupid sunglass, thug life meme, that I didn't move my runner. I just had my runner at four points, and it just hit my runner perfectly. I would still be in this runner if I didn't focus on that the stupid meme. Because <laughs> there's a pretty big gap right now from here to here. Oh my, I, I could have put, I, maybe it's a good thing that runner got hit. You know, but <laughs> I'm so dumb. Like, I, I typically would raise my runner here. Still be in this trade if I had my runner. I would still be in it up, up until here. This is where my runner would have been stopped out. Because I really wanted that dumb meme. I am, I am not in my runner right now, and this could potentially be like, because I think we're in a trading range day, this could be a huge runner. This could really be a huge runner here. Like I'm talking about 30 point runner, possibility. But I was so focused on my dumb meme, my, th my dumb thug life meme, I didn't move my runner up. I just, <laughs> I just have it on the four points. This is how dumb I am, guys. This is how dumb pandas are. I was so focused on the stupid thug life, I didn't adjust my uh, runner. But who knows, I'm fine with that four points. That's okay. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Worth it for the meme. Worth losing thousand, potential thousand dollars for the memes. For the memes, for the memes. Ah, uh, I'm so... I'm, I'm feeling so stupid. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> this is all money. This is all money. Free, like free money that I could be having right now. It's all good. Four points is not bad. Four points on fifty bucks is extra two hundred dollars. Where am I at right now? I'm at fifteen hundred. Let's go, baby. Hey, we're we're gonna hit ten k by the end of this week. Let's go, baby. Let's do it. Yeah, Shannon, yeah, ten k, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Ten k within four weeks of streaming. Whoo! Let's go, baby. Let's go. Doubling my count within a little over a month.
like I said, I think we are in a... Oh, this is a reversal here. This trap. I might consider going this trap. Ooh. Hey, give me a one in the chat if I should take this trap or not. Two, if no. You're going to have to do it quick. One in the chat. It might be too late. The delay might be too long. I actually like this trap setup. I do like this trap setup. I'm gonna take this trap setup. Actually, I'll hold, I'll hold. I'm sitting on my hands. I think this trap setup is very good. Very good, but I'm skipping it. And it makes a perfect scalp already and absolute scalp. That trap was good. Ah, I was too hesitant. I, I think I was just a little, I didn't want to be over too, too overconfident here. <clears throat> Plus, I saw the trading range indicator starting to make the trading range here. So thinking we possibly could get into some chop right now. And so that trap was successful, but um, this chop made me worried. Because uh, the trading range indicator started to detect the trading range here. A little worried right there. <clears throat> but good trap for those who took that trade. Let's go, baby. Hey guys, it's eleven o'clock. Sorry, I know we had a lot of a lot of weird things happen. Very uh, weird things happening today, but hey, things will get better as we work the kinks out. But it's eleven o'clock. I gotta go. I got some responsibilities. Um, and so, hey, let me know in the chat what you thought about the stream. <laughs> Alan Brackett says, hit 10k today and it'll be exactly a month. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I can do it. If I didn't, if I didn't, uh, if I readjusted my uh, runner, I could possibly actually make $1,000 on one contract. $1,000 would be a 20 point contract. And I think because we're in trading range day today, we can actually come way back up here. Like I said, I know it seems unlikely that we can come back up here, but hey, on a trading range day, these swings can be huge. So if we start to come back into this trading range on the 10, this is a 10K chart, we can come way back up here. It's not as hard as you think. It's not unlikely as you think. But let's go, baby. All right, guys. Yeah, let me know in chat what you guys think. Thanks, Janet. Thinking today was fun. Hey, at least it's entertaining, right? At least we get some entertainment at the very least. The very best, we can learn something and, and hopefully become... Become better, better traders here all together as a community. I'm no means perfect. But after my thousand day loser yesterday, coming back thousand fifty or fifteen hundred today, feels good. Really does feel good. Whack of five contract. <laughs> oh boy, should I should I just do a uh, maybe if I uh hit 5k subscribers, I'll start trading 5 contracts. I think if I hit 10k, I probably might start switching to 5 contracts, but just personally for me on stream, there's just so many variables. Like, I don't know what happens to me on stream. It just becomes so difficult to trade sometimes. So on stream, I probably won't trade 5 contracts, um, but I might change to 5 contracts on my own trading just because I feel way more comfortable. But yeah. Thanks, guys. Hey. We got the we finally got the major trend reversal now. Uh, a little bit later, it took a little bit longer, but now we're getting the major trend reversal. We're probably gonna break above here. Like I said, I thought we we're trading range day today. I think we're coming way back up. This runner was still been good. Unfortunately, I'm not in it because of the memes. Because of the memes, worth it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey, trade safe and as always, happy trading. God bless.